I want to ask you, Martin, about your about 2007, about that infamous game against Getafe. Um, you know, I was at the game that day and I was the whole stadium was so upset for you and, you know, everyone screaming your name. And it sent shivers up my spine just seeing you on the on the touchline there and everyone, nobody caring about the game anymore, just people just focused on you and wanting you to stay at the club. I mean, when did you hear about the news? I can remember my nephew was there, you know, with me and he lived with me, a young, a young boy. And he, and he came over to me, you know, after the final whistle and he said, uh, you're sacked, you know, in Dutch, you know, you're fired. So I thought, OK, it was a bit strange. And I think there was a bit going on during the game. And I thought, you know, what, what is it? Uh, there was something, you know, and, 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 the, and the people and maybe you can remember these images when I was sitting there and I, and I said, always said I looked like my mom, but. Uh, of course, I saw, I saw my mom crying, and I never cry. You know, I have to admit, you can ask my wife as well. She's here with me. But uh, I can remember there was something. So I must have had a sort of, um, I must have suspected something, you know. And I can remember even before that, because when I took Berbatov to uh, to Fulham, that was nice. I said to Berbatov, uh, you fucked me over when I was, you know, at Newcastle when he was sulking, you know, because everybody said, you know, that that uh, the, the board said, yeah, why is Berbatov soaking? Because he was on the bench. I kept him on the bench. Maybe I gave him a rest. And then I said, okay, you can make a warm up. And 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 he was not really making a warm up. So that was probably the first signal for the board, you know, to to tell people that I lost the dressing room. But it was only about results. I think we had uh, three or four. It was not. I think we had one or two defeats. But I think it was more about the the, the draws we had, you know. So we had a very bad start, but. Maybe you can remember there was there was a guy and he was a young guy, you know, he was 31 or 32 and he wanted to act like a sort of sporting director. And that was that was not good for me. You know, I can remember in his first game, he came over in the dressing room. He was leaning over to the wall and I said, what are you what are you what are you doing? And he said, yeah, it's nice. You know, I want to learn something. I said, you can't learn here at halftime. So so I kicked him out of the dressing room and, and, and there was Kamoli, you know, and, Kamoli, and of yeah. course. He, w he would have told Daniel to take another coach and he already lined up and that was an easy one because Juan de Ramos. Oh. oh. Is he gone? Oh, he's back. Sorry, Martin, oh, you got disconnected there for a second. Okay. So, of course, uh, Juan, there was an easy one because he won the UEFA Cup, I think, at Seville. Yeah, and I think in that year we played against Seville, so I met him as well, and and you know he did well. I mean, what can you say? So we had a bad spell, like like uh, like Mourinho and like Pochettino. Pochettino was at Spurs, you know they they couldn't manage to win in a way. I think one away game in a year, yeah, and and he was still there. So I think I could have done with a, a, a bit more patience, you know. But in the end, you know, overall I had an unbelievable, I had a fantastic time, good connection with the fans. And that it was like a, sort of like a dream for, for, for a coach or a manager. Yeah, I mean, you were. You were completely adored by the fans. And me personally, and I know a lot of Spurs fans, never forgave Daniel Levy for the way he did treat you. And, you know, we all wanted you to stay as manager at the time. That's, that's a fact. And I remember from a personal note, you walking out the gates at White Hart Lane after a game. And, you know, you always had time for the fans. You always spoke to the fans whenever they came up to you. So I would just like to thank you um, for your time at Spurs and thank you for the way you did kind of connect with the fans because you know not many managers at Tottenham have done that and I would say you Harry Redknapp and uh, Maurizio Pochettino were three of the managers that really kind of got what it meant to be a Spurs manager much appreciated boys